Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, great and wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world. We are going to kick off this program in a short while. Just want to connect to Facebook. We are connecting to Facebook also so that we will have a broader audience. As I see, we are only live on YouTube and Twitter. So if you are joining us in those places where we are, kindly share the video. Invite others to join. Share the video, invite others to join. If you are joining us for the first time on YouTube and Twitter, click the like button. For the algorithm to continue to do the sharing. Okay, almost there. What the hell? Okay, I believe that now we are live on Facebook. We are live on Facebook. We are live on YouTube. We are live on Twitter. So whichever way you are watching us from, share the video like the video subscribe to that channel so that the algorithm will continue to do the sharing as well on youtube on twitter continue to retweet continue to to retweet the video so that our message will go further Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Great and wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world. Wherever you are watching from, you are watching at Judge Money Blog Africa on YouTube, at Judge Money Blog on Facebook, at Judge Money Official, at Judge Money Blog slash TV, all on Facebook. So we are here again this afternoon, this evening, this morning to continue where we stopped in actually exposing the activities of the enemy who have come to destroy and distract what we are doing and of course we cannot allow them to succeed we are going to be addressing this characters that is from in front of our screen the first one is your underqualified attorney general malami by name who is holding mazen namdekano illegally even when the court has declared for his release he is in contempt in a contempt of court he is in contempt of court and should be arrested because that is exactly what is supposed to be done 
if Nigeria has a working judiciary because it looks what he is doing, he is actually showing the world what I said, that Nigeria judiciary is like a toothless bulldog. Now, on the other hand, is the finance minister of Zoological Republic called Nigeria. This finance minister, we are going to address a statement she made. And the down one, of course, you all know, it is the chief infiltrator, the career agitator that made himself available for using IPOB brand as a business. Now, today, we are also going to be showing you how he confessed because the reason why we always try to bring these things up, it is very important because so many of you does not pay attention when he, you know, he makes a statement because whenever we listen to him, we make sure that we pay attention to understand the activities of this guy. Because this guy is very, very manipulative. He is very, very cunning. He is very, very, you know, I would say he is a criminal. Now, let us go there. We are going to start because the analysis on the thief in Finland is going to be stretched. It's going to take time. So we are going to start on the ones that is not going to take time. Always, we know we are going to address Abuba Kamalami. And we are here to tell Abuba Kamalami that he is in contempt of court and he has proven that judiciary does not work in Nigeria. That the decisions of the judiciary is just, you know, a waste of time. And that is the reason why the Nigeria police, Nigeria law enforcement will abduct people in their destinations without even taking them to the jurisdictional police station or where they have abducted that person to show you that it is indeed an abduction. Because any individual that is arrested in a particular jurisdiction must report or must be, you know, must be actually, you know, presented in their jurisdictional police station. Whether you are being abducted by um, SSS, the um, civil defense, any law enforcement or department that is abducting or actually arresting any individual, they must present that individual in their regional police station. That is how the law works. You cannot go to Enugu. You abduct Idara Gold, or you go to Aba, you abduct Idara Gold, or you go to Anambara, you abduct Idara Gold, you take Idara Gold straight to Abuja. It does not work that way. You must report that individual to their jurisdiction, to their regional police station. And from there, you will present them to the, you know, to court within 48 hours. You must present them, them to court, but you abduct somebody in the past six months without presenting them to the court. If not for the you know, you know, public outcry, you will not remember that you have abducted somebody. That is a violation of human rights in Nigeria. And I want to know, is UN doing their job or are they also like Nigeria judiciary, which is like a toothless bulldog? They just come and talk without implementation. Because when you look at what is going on in Nigeria, it means that the human right is being violated every minute of the day. And when I say every minute of the day, it is not exaggeration. Just you may see what is happening. A police is throwing tear gas on those you know disabled athletics that are protesting police is throwing tear gas on disabled people <laughs> in nigeria are you surprised you can actually make inquiries about it this is the latest news in nigeria so in this regard you will know that every minute of the day human rights is being violated in nigeria 
But yet, Nigeria is a member of United Nations. And United Nations is a structure that is built to protect human rights. Nigeria is a member of African Union. An African Union structure is created to make sure that everybody is included and the right of everybody is protected in Africa. ECOWAS is there. They do not do anything. I don't even know the, you know, the reason why ECOWAS is created because I have never heard them coming to the party to actually discuss the challenges we have in that region of sub-Saharan or that region of ECOWAX. Now, in this regard, you have seen those that I mentioned that Nigeria police will kidnap you, will subjugate you to, you know, you know, inhuman treatment, will take you to out of your, your jurisdiction. They will now from there abandon you in a solitary confinement or their prison without remembering that you have 48 hours to present a criminal or a suspected to be criminal to the criminal justice. If you cannot present any evidence in the judiciary to the judiciary that you are arrested or you are abducted, so-called criminal is not is you know is guilty of the crime that you labeled against them they are free to go that is what the law says because no one is guilty until proven in the court of law and that is the reason why there is judiciary in every nation of the world now in nigeria judiciary does not come to the party when it consign ordinary people the only time judiciary will come to the party is when it consigns the, the politicians because politicians will be able to challenge them because they have the power and they have the resources to actually do so. But when it comes to the people who are supposed to be protected by the judiciary, judiciary are not doing their job. Just like you have seen, Mazen Namdekan, judiciary gave him discharged him and acquitted him. What is going on? The DSS refused to release him because they know judiciary is a toothless bulldog. They bark, but they do not bite. That is exactly as a result of it, you will see Idara Gold being in custody for the last six months. When it, she arrived at Abuja court, I believe it is by Bin Tanyaku, because I see that Bin Tanyaku is a detain, you know, a you know, detaining machine for for these cabals in Asorok. She detains innocent people. She does not allow the rule of law to uphold. She does whatever these people ask her to do. It does not matter what they hold as a leverage against her. But she's supposed to understand that human rights must be protected by the judiciary. But she is not doing so because she is compromised. She is, you know, practicing a conflict of interest. And that is the reason why she cannot uphold the law which she represents. She cannot protect the human rights which she is actually there to protect. Everybody that is being captured by the police is a criminal in Nigeria without being put, being put into trial. They will be in police custody for two years without being put into, you know, through trial. They are already declared criminal. No justice system that declares people criminal before trial. Only in Nigeria, the police you have the right to declare you a criminal. That is the reason why so many structural police that they have created in the past, they were killing innocent people, shoot at sight. There is no criminal under, you know, democracy. And, and any country that practices democracy and human rights, there is nobody 
who must be subjugated into shoot, you know, to shooting at sight by the law enforcers, except if the lives of these law enforcers is in danger and they are professionals. Yet they are killing innocent people every day because when they have come to, a, you know, see a person who have a hairstyle like mine, who has a tattoo, who have an earring, who has an iPhone, who has a laptop, automatically they have become a criminal. Who is driving their brother's car, they have become a criminal. If nobody is there to defend them, they will be killed. They will be abandoned in the prison yard. That is the activities of these law enforcers in Nigeria. And Attorney General Malami is there. Seeing all that, he does not say anything. He does not say anything about it. But everybody, you know, is watching him to see, you know, he is showing all of you that indeed the Nigeria judiciary is.
Oh. So, sorry for that. I think I was muted. My mic was muted and you were not able to hear me. Sorry for that. And where I stopped is that this is the reason why this is the reason why every conscious person in that Nigeria will be calling for disintegration of that contraption called Nigeria, which is created by Britain to use it to oppress black lives, to use it to oppress, you know, Africa. Because if it is not a, you know, a structure created to kill, to reduce, and to dehumanize and demonize black nations, you will not, you know, see all this inhuman treatment being meted on people. Terrorism is doing their own. You know, it is actually no go area. Some of the government officials, you know, are supporting terrorism. They are doing all that. Their names were mentioned, indicted. How many of them were convicted? None of them. That is the reason why Fat Alf, Fat Alf must actually come into the party to actually investigate the activities of those who are sponsoring terrorism. Because Nigeria, you see, Nigeria, you see today, they are supposed to be on the black list, not even the gray list of FATA, Financial Action Tax Force. Financial Ac Action Tax Force, which was created by, by, by the G7. In, in, they were created by the G7. I believe invented in 2021. For them to, you know, actually monitor those who sponsor terrorism and money laundering. Nigeria is one of the biggest. If, if, if you cannot believe they sponsor terrorism, you will believe, you will know about their money laundering. This time around, they have actually, you know, migrated from carrying it raw or said, you know, now they are using their offshores to actually launder this money. Now, when somebody like Mazen Namde can speak, he will be jailed. When the judiciary declare him, you know, discharge him and acquitted him, he will not be released. When somebody like me speak, you will say, bring this guy, let's kill him because he is speaking the truth. That is the amount and the level of injustices you see in Nigeria. So it is time for FATF, which is F-A-T-F, the Financial Action Tax Force, to come to the party to investigate Nigeria and their activities because it is now very, very imperative that we, call, we start protecting the lives and the livelihood of innocent people. Now, in that regard, Nigeria has been taking loans up to that they have taken a loan that is more than... How much? They are in debt more than $400 million. More than... Not to talk about the one they borrowed from the 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 the, the countries, the poorest countries, you know, fund. Not to talk about the 13 billion um they have borrowed from the from that fund. You don't talk about it. We are talking about IMF, normal IMF fund. So in that regard, now, finance minister is now advising. Let me actually bring that news so that we will address it accordingly. Because in this regard, many people does not understand the reason why we do what we do. Because so many of the people in Nigeria, they are well uninformed. You know, they are not just uninformed. They are well uninformed. And that is the reason why they continue to actually destroy and distract their future. So we cannot watch such thing happening to our people. Now let me show you this news. Pay attention as we read. 
Finance Minister Ahmed recommends more taxes to reduce Nigeria's debt. Now, I want you to pay attention. The Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zeneb Ahmed, has said that the best measure to reduce the nation's high debt burden are collection of more taxes and effective blocking of revenue leakages. Now, we are going to actually capitalize on this collection of more taxes. Because of course, so many of you does not know the meaning of collection of more taxes. So many of you might not understand that those taxes that is being collected, it is meant to pay, you know, it is, it is used, the taxes is used to pay your police. It is used to pay your DSS. It is used to pay everything. It is used to do your infrastructural development. That is the reason why they collect these taxes. And in the last 63 years, they have been collecting taxes. What have they done? After, you know, after the independent or the artificial independent that Nigeria, you know, achieved, what have they done in the infrastructural sector? What have they done in that regard? In the power, you know, there is no power. Your tax is being paid. In the, in the energy sector, nothing is improved. You are, being, you are paying tax. Infrastructure, nothing. You know, when you talk about health care system, there is nothing that has been improved. Only those you see today are the ones, you know, that is their pre-independence. Those are the things, those structures you see, you call it health center, you call it um, schools. Those are the ones that was put in place pre-independent. And these are, you know, these infrastructures are decayed. They are decaying each and every day because there is no system to actually hold, you know, this government accountable or hold them to account, rather, with all these taxes they are collecting, plus the billions of dollars that they are taking from IMF, from world, you know, poorest country fund that they are also taking. What have they done with such money? And I made a tweet this, you know, morning. That those such money must be, you know, those who were the people who actually signed and collected these loans from IMF, from whichever industry, from China, they must be brought to account. And this money is in their offshores. They must bring it back and pay for this debt that they have accumulated for you. Now you are talking about bringing taxation increment to the people who are already grappling with this economic crisis, food inflation, everything is, you know, skyrocketed. Now, let's think about it. The inflation rate of Nigeria hit more than 20 marks, which is 20.77% is inflation rate in Nigeria, which skyrockets every, you know, essential commodities, food, and every other thing that you are purchasing in that Nigeria. Now, you are now bringing more financial constraints to the same people whom you have put in abject poverty. Due to inflation, you are not able to actually put this that, you know, make a contingency plan to make sure that you mitigate this inflation rise in that contraption. No, you did not do anything because they are a bunch of incompetent people placed in power. They cannot even make any measure, put any measure in place. In the case of, you know, national emergence, such as this flood that is swallowing people's houses in the East, they have not made any plan or actually humanitarian plan to actually curb all these challenges. They did not. They did not. 
but they will spend money to go and rendition innocent man who speaks, expose the same thing that I'm exposing today, who speaks and open the eyes of people for them to feel like they are human beings and they are they have the right to challenge any system that is not working for them. They spend billions of dollars. Bribe Kenyan officials. Bribe Kenya government. For them to come into their soil and kidnap somebody. He talks a lot. It, it, it actually speaks a lot. It actually exposes a lot of secrets. So having seen all that, what do you think that somebody will do? Like I said before, even if you take the leadership position of Nigeria and give it to me, it will never work. If you give it to Mazen Namdekano, it will never work. And he knows that human being in that structure is not going to change anything. That is the reason why he, first of all, requested for, you know, restructuring because the structure is the problem. That is the reason why his first move was to he made, move a motion for restructuring. It was undermined. It was neglected. Now, because while we were even at it, we found out that even restructuring will never erase that system of that kill people, that take people out of their jurisdiction, abduct people from their homes, even kidnap the wife if the husband which they are looking for is not there, or they arrest the children if the parents is not there for the crime that they never committed. This is Nigeria for you. And that is the reason why disintegration of Nigeria is a tax that must be done. And any African countries or, you know, that is, you know, a respecter of human rights must support this cause because disintegration of Nigeria is actually eye-opening for the whole African nation. Because it is called the giant of Africa. If they call a failure like Nigeria a giant of Africa, believe you me, it means that Africa is a failure. Because there is nothing to, that is, you know, there is nothing good about this contraption you called giant of Africa. Believe me, it has happened to me. It has happened to my siblings. It has happened to many people that I know that's taking the lives of friends, that's taking the lives of well-wishers, that's taking the life of mutual friends, it has taken the life of, you know, families. It is only when Nigeria did not happen to you that when you hear a call for a change, a call for revolution, you will still you know, avoid to answer that call. What you are seeing today in Nigeria is as a result of the origin of that amalgamation. The arrangement, the agreement, the sacrifice of the amalgamation. Because somebody must pay sacrifice for another to live. So we are paying sacrifice for British to live. In the last one century, we've been paying sacrifice for British to live more than one century, even four centuries. Because these things you saw did not just start today. It is more than four centuries. Because we start calculating by the, from the time we, act, we were actually exposed to such history which is one century ago. The only, we were, most of us were exposed to the history of one century ago. We have not been exposed to the history of four centuries ago. What about, you know, ADs? What about them? We don't think about them. 
but we've been paying the ultimate price. Our blood has been servicing British as a nation, giving them good infrastructure, giving them good lives, giving them power to answer a free world. While we are suffering prior, prior to the independent, prior to the you know, 1914 of the amalgamation, people are dying. People are just being subjugated. Terrorism everywhere. There is tears, sorrow, and blood everywhere. We don't talk about the military. Of course, you hear, you heard one of these, you know, um, in the army or Boko Haram. You will not even know which one is Boko Haram or which one is army. That's what they do. You heard him saying that he is coming to kill Biafra because Nigeria gave him a brand new AK-47. He said Biafran's IPOB will hear it. It is only when it comes to IPOB they are very strong. When it comes to Mazen Nam the Kano, Nigeria want to, you know, say they are independent nation. Therefore, UN cannot interfere. But you are part of the, you are a signatory to United Nations Charter of Human Rights. You will say they cannot interfere. This is exactly the reason why every conscious human being who is able to make a conscious decision will join this movement. Forget about these things they tell you, you know, that they just need somebody who will fix the country, Pito will be. You have never asked yourself a question. Do you think that Pito B is more intelligent than Gulag Jonathan? Do you think that Pito B is more educated than Good Luck Jonathan? What did Good Luck Jonathan do for the system? Nothing. Do you know why? It is not because he does not want to do something. I don't know why I always use this line, but that is actually the fact. He wanted to work, but they stayed up Buhari and his terrorists to sabotage the activity and scuttle every plans that good luck Jonathan will make to actually win. Obama even came to the party, which they did not hide. Obama gave you Buhari. Obama pro promoted Buhari that is Buhari in you, your life, your livelihood, your economy, everything. It is the same people. Who gave it to you? They saw that good luck Jonathan want to head into a, a good direction. Immediately when he declared the fastest grow, growing economy in Africa, I believe in 2013 uh, or 14, he, he declared fastest growing economy in Africa. Boko Haram, Sine Nusina, they come from east, west, north, and south to make sure that they scuttle that achievement, to make sure that they scuttle that move. Why would you grow? If you grow this economy and people taste that good water, they will never want to go back. Therefore, we must scuttle this. That is the same thing that is going to happen to P2P. I am not saying that I am actually, you know, demoting P2P that he might not have a political will to do anything for Nigeria, but I, but I know, I am sure, he does not have the political will to help, you know, these evils that has been marginalized. He does not have that political will to actually help them to integrate. But I know he has the political will to do something for Nigeria. But now that it is no longer about political will to change the nation, it is now about the structural, you know, the structural barrier. Many of you do not ask yourselves questions. You do not actually reason beyond a reasonable doubt or actually look back towards the history and see where we have been heading. Every day, this person is better. When Buhari was coming, 
everybody saying that he's anti-corruption, he's anti-corruption, he is going to, you know, make sure that there is no laundering money, embezzlement, or any other thing. Here we are. We overhyped him, including pastors and priests, overhyped the same man. The same way you that forget history so quickly is overhyping P2B. You always forget your problem. I want to I want to assure you that this government, these politicians you have in Nigeria, they have this criminal tendency. They have this tendency of being able to manipulate you each and every time they want you to support them. And these people, I don't know if it is something they do, it is it a witchcraft or what, but they have this, you know, the ability to be able to make you to forget your past so quickly. They have it. And the same thing is taking us to the infiltrator in IPOB. Because the chief infiltrator is a politician. They have that tendency. They have, you know, what I called, you know, they have this ability to actually manipulate everything that is going to be used to catch up their criminality, they will turn it around immediately and it will begin to work in their favor. That is the power of politics. That is the power of politics because so many of you might not know. And that is the reason why each and every time I come here, I will be screaming and shouting on top of my voice to make sure that I bring your mind to it. Because politicians, you know, politicians you see, they are very, very dangerous. Politicians, they are very, very dangerous. What they do are the things that you never believe that next season you will go back and start supporting them again. You will never imagine supporting these people after you, you know been exposed to their activities in the past, yet they are being supported. What will you say about it? They are being supported because they have that, you know, ability to deceive, to lie, to manipulate, to make sure that they place you in your naughty corner, in abject poverty, that you will never rise up to challenge their activities. Because these people, they know exactly what they are doing. But the only problem and the challenges that you have is that you don't understand what they are doing to you because you always get carried away with whatever they present to you in that very moment, in that particular point in time. That is exactly the manipulation that they use against you. They use against you each and every time they present they present the same story. And when they go back to the power, they present the same action. And what is this action? This action is elimination of the innocent people who is willing to stand up like Jesus Christ did to protect her people. To stand up to challenge the structure that is destroying the life and the livelihood of the people. That is exactly what they do all the time. Now look at it, the same thing they are still doing. What have you done? You have not done anything to change your faith. That is the reason why we are calling anybody that has not joined this move for, you know, disintegration of Nigeria. It means that there is something wrong with you because in Nigeria you are supporting, you are protecting 
that Nigeria will at some point destroy or kill you because your life is in danger. If you continue to shout one Nigeria, believe you me, it is not a joke. And I am not even, you know, this is so, this is so very, very, you know, important to be a joke. It will destroy you. You see Lekki Massacre. You see each and every day. And they will never actually use their past to correct their future. The same way you as an individual who is supporting these people will never use your past to correct your future. It has been like that. It has been like that. Why is nothing, you know, is changing? The same approach, the same approach, each and every year, the same approach, the same manipulative approach, and you will expect different results. Each and every time they come, you will expect different results. There is something I am actually trying to gather here, which I am going to show you as a result of how you are being manipulated by those politicians and by those who are infiltrating IPOB. I am trying to bring it to you because each and every time we come online, we tupon ketabli. We go see a car fade out to gamble because what we do, we are bringing it to you. We are whiter than white. We are whiter than snow. Now I am going to move quickly because I have, you know, a meeting. Now I want to show you the activities of the autopilot, which is going to actually show you exactly that the politicians you see they are all the same. They are all the same. And that is the reason why we say we do not want politician or politicking activities in IPOB. Because once you start bringing politics, and once you start bringing politics, it is going to render everything we are doing useless. Because politics is a dirty game. When you talk politics, you talk gangsterism, when you talk, talk politics, you talk cultism. When you talk politics, you talk killing. When you talk politics, you talk maiming. That is exactly as a result of the type of politics you see Nigeria produce. You talk about human rights violation. You talk about, you know, autocracy. You talk about monarchs, you know, um, what do you call it? Uh, anarchy. When you talk about politics. You talk about wickedness, manipulation, psychological intimidation, physical intimidation, manipulation. That is exactly what happens each time we talk politics. Now, I am going to show you exactly what is happening in IPOB that so many of you might not be aware of. Now, let us go there. I want you to pay attention to this guy. I will keep this video. I will run it longer so that I will be able to be, you know, finalize it quickly in order to attend to my meeting. And I want you to pay very good attention because when you miss it, you miss it. Let's listen to this guy. When he talks about people whom he's been working with, and the people that we are talking about is people who he, he's been working with. And he claimed that these people are innocent, that the DOS are criminals. These same people who, made, who wanted to do everything possible to present him to actually scuttle the legacy of Mazen Namdekano. Today he is coming to tell you that they are taking him to the shrine, to the oracle, and he is swearing that oath, which he refused to swear in the past, you know, year. Swearing that oath, which he come to tell people that you are the Umundo Soji and then Zama. Today, 
he is coming to the media to swear the oath. But now, I want you to understand the actual reason why this criminal is doing the oath-taking or swearing whatever he has censored because well-articulated, Simon, well-articulated, because you have seen that your light is going off. Now you have come to a new plan which you are going to use to actually lie to the people of Biafra once again. Now, let us go there and pay very good attention. Also, for no election in Biafra land. Today, we are going to go into the some of the reasons why you know we are not going to allow election Nigeria to conduct election in Biafra land, except the referendum. Without wasting time, I want to thank you, Ebele Fortune, Ebele Fortune, the first super chat supporter today. I, I greet, greet you for your wonderful fifty dollars super chat. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Those of you that always support what we are doing, you will always be replenished by God. It is not easy. You are watching live, by the way. I want to thank you also that those that God are going to use to get to make Biafra come, they are now reaching out to us. That have activated a lot of things automatically. Things are happening on their own. I am telling you that those that God are going to use to get to make Biafra come, they are now reaching out to us. Today, I want you to understand this politics because we actually shifted away from this politics in Nigeria to actually show you another epitome of politics that is practiced in Nigeria that somebody has brought into what we are doing. But he is a faction created by the enemy. And those... to scuttle, to destroy, to actually demoralize people in this struggle. Those people are now on the receiving end of his activities because once your hands is clean, you will never go wrong. That is the most important thing that everybody who is conscious will understand in this movement. This guy came in, he started calling people criminals, Madam Oyibo is innocent, according to him. Nelly Ofebu is him, and he is Nelly Ofebu. Nelly Ofebu is Idu, and Idu is Nelly Ofebu. This guy started preaching Idu. This guy started supporting Idu. This guy created security, claimed that it was called ADA. He, he started dividing the Eastern Security Network. He did so many things, hideous crime that he committed against our people in Biafra land because he wants to be relevant. And now let me, before we go out there to continue this, I want to show you the actual reason why I told you that this guy is a fraud. Pay very good attention to the pictures that I am going to show you now. I want you to see these pictures because I brought something very, very as a good, you know, example of what this guy used to deceive so many of you. I want you to look at this picture in your screen. If you look at this picture in your screen, you will see Rick Ross holding a wine bottle, which is rosé. You will see the other guy. On the, on the ground, kneeling, and you will see an intruder, which is actually infiltrator in this picture. I want you to see the boy or the man with a bottle of Coca-Cola pouring. That is a Photoshop. 
Are you now beginning to imagine the type of things you will use programs in the computer space to do? That is exactly what this guy in Finland used to manipulate so many of you. I am going to show you more that is called deep fake. Now look at it. This is the same guy who infiltrated Rose's picture. He is shaking hand with Russian president. He won the award of this thing that he is presenting. This is the same guy. This was the same thing Simon Epa did in order to come and tell you he eat and dine with the Finland president. He, he does, he eat and dine with the prime ministers. He eat and dine with the uh, um, justice, um, the, you know, the, uh, does he call him a attorney general or, or the minister of justice in Finland? He did all that. Now, I am going to show you the one, another one. You see this guy, he keep infiltrating people's pictures. I hope you are seeing it. It is clean and, you know, you will never, if you don't know technology, you will never imagine that this is not real. This is called deep fake. Now, let me show you another one that is going to shock you. See this one? It is going to shock you. Now you see this one. This is where this guy is now being saluted by the monarch security or military during the Elizabeth II burial. The same guy, he infiltrated that same picture, removed the man that is there and placed himself. You see how real all the things that he does with these programs is. Now, another one that will shock you is this one. See him sleeping next to Christian Ronaldo. When you see all that, you will understand that what I'm about to show you now is the same program. So pay very good attention as I will show you these things because this is exactly what I continue to show you. This is it. The same thing that Simon Eber did if you look at the arrow showing you where he actually cropped his own, his own is not even that professional that you will not notice. Now the man in black, you know, jacket overall is the president of Finland. Simon Eber cropped himself and next to that president of Finland, that is what he presented to so many of you from the beginning that he bought you, he now bought your conscience that you are not able to distinguish truth from lies. You keep telling people that who is going to go and, you know, is there anybody who will represent people in the United Nations other than the criminal in Finland, the Photoshopper? I want you to look at the things that I am showing you right now for you to understand the exact thing that I am, I am talking about. Now I am going to show you another one. This is another one. You will see where he claimed that he is said throwback when they, if they tell you Simon Epa is, is looking for uh, popularity, tell them that then we don't join Biafra for popularity. And, uh, but because of what we have to offer, tell them God created us you know, I can't see those, you know, right up very well. Now, this is exactly what he plays. You see where there is, you know, those arrows. He said this man, I think he said he's a minister of justice or formal, you know, prime minister, former prime minister of Finland. He said this is exactly the Photoshop. But this one is every, you know, even plain to see. I am going to keep quiet that you will see the lower path of this picture. I hope you must have seen the lower path of this picture that I am showing you now. I want you to see 
the where the arrows are pointing, you will see different background when they were cropping and putting somebody's head on top of somebody. You will know that this is exactly the same thing this guy I showed you initially did, just to make people believe that he is in those places. This is as a result of all that. Now look at this one. He liked to go for uninvited, you know, ceremonies and the seminars. That's exactly what he does. Now, I want Biafra to answer me this question. Why do you think that a criminal will give you a freedom? Why do you think that somebody who is very, very manipulative, somebody who is unreal, somebody who will do anything to prove to you that they are relevant, somebody who is willing to go any mile, including killing people to gain relevant, is going to give you freedom? I want you to answer me this question. Answer it to yourself. Answer it to your spirit. Because the most important thing in life that is there is a conscience inside you. It is the most, you know, precious and, you know, what do I call it? The, the, your, your, your conscience is the holiest thing, holiest part of your being. Holiest part of your being. Except if you shut them down. Because they will always speak the truth. And that truth speaks with, you know, power. They will continue to ring on your brain, but they don't speak loud. They will continue to give you the factual information. So this is the same guy who did all this deep fake, you know, screenshots, um, you know, what do you call it? Cropping photoshops in order to come and tell you that they are relevant. Now you ask yourself, this same person told you, that they went to see a president. The same person who did everything to show you they are relevant, they are dining with the president, told you also they went to see Finland president and you believe it. And the, you know, he could not show you a picture, but when he, he brought fake Finland parliament and brought some hungry, you know, man and say he was speaking Finnish language, you know, telling that man, you know, talking things as if he is presenting your case to Finlandia Parliament, which is I told you that I have the phone number to the speaker, vice speaker, second speaker, third speaker of Finlandia Parliament, if you want to call to find out about all this, this man's activities with him saying that he has presented your case to the Finnish Parliament. It was all a lie. All these things. Now he is come to tell you again that he has, you know, the people that is going to help him get Biafra come 2023. They are responding that he's been having series of meeting and series of me meeting upon meeting that they are actually in compliance. Now these people, he claimed that he is in compliance. He is not showing them to you. When it is a lie, he showed them to you. When it is, you know, when he has evidence of his lie, he showed them to you. When he, he want to lie of the things that he know he cannot gather something or actually create something, he will tell you it is something confidential. When he has something to use to justify his lies, he will show it to you. When he does not have, he tell you it is confidential. Only him attending several meetings. Only him. The delegates to go and meet countries that is going to give you freedom. How dare you, you know, deceive Biafrans like this? And how dare you, Biafrans, believe in this man's activities? Let us go to the oath that he's been taking because he is scared people might be taking him to Oracle in Nigeria because him himself is diabolic. That is the reason why each and every time he is so scared, he will tell you this person went to do juju, that person went to do this, do that, in the native doctor. Pay attention. Today we have 138 days to Biafra. Mm. You know, sometimes people are amazing with their evil. Sometime last year, 
I told their friends that I know the day their friend will come. <laughs> The first time that statement was made by me, some of these criminals let hair loose. And they begin to fight it. They begin to fight it. How can he say he knows the day Biafra will come? If you know the day Biafra will come, why are we disturbing ourselves? We should go and sleep. That is to show you people who are evil, who are ready to destroy your future and your freedom. How would somebody say, since you know the death, therefore we come, we should all go to sleep? Why should we be sleeping? Who is going to give you therefore while you are asleep? Who is going to give you freedom while you are asleep? It shows people that are without brain, people that are not serious. We said, now let me address this so that we move into another thing. He talks about he knows when Biafra will come, of which no man on earth knows that, except Tuku Okika Biyama, who gave us this knowledge and instinct. Now I want you to understand that Mazen Namdekan told you Biafra is the last miracle which can occur anytime. And now this guy come up, a photoshopper, he come up to tell you that he knows the day to Biafra will come. Of course, people who are consciously awoken, they will challenge it. They will put it in different ways that will make them to understand that they are lying. He will utilize everything at his disposal to prove to you because one lie you told, you will use millions of it to actually defend it. So that is exactly... No man knows when Biafra will come. If I must tell you, I am somebody who sees things that happens. I don't know where Biafra will come. You know, I do not know when Biafra it is, going to, is going to come. Now, the things is that this guy is telling you he knows when Biafra will come. A sinner man, a liar, a manipulator, a politician brought up, you know, born, Nigerian born politician. He's telling you he knows when Biafra will come. I want you to continue to configure everything that I am telling you right now. Continue to configure them in order to analyze this inception where his, you know, his, you know, violent beginning. You know, I want you to actually remember the pictures that I showed you how he presented them to you, claiming that he is relevant while he is not relevant. Everything he does, he does for relevance and money. And I want you to hear where he will confess that if he swear for every other thing, he cannot swear for money. He said it here. If you pay attention, you will hear it. So let's move from this one and they shift it to more some other things they can never win they can never win i have been listening to some of these black males and propaganda mm -hmm. the one they call they from venezuela, 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 from, venezuela from a bargain. what he does is if Simon Eckba can get the Biafra, let the Biafra never come. Nobody knows him. The only thing he does is to make audio and shift it and start sending it to WhatsApp, to WhatsApp group. He shared it to WhatsApp groups. This man from Abadana, he spent money going to let his doctor to kill himself, himself not, not to kill someone. Every day, he <laughs> does do 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 he do 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 with dog, he do 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 with that. Others. Now, let us also analyze this one and shift it away. Because the most important thing I want you to recognize here is that 
This man keep telling you that the people on their own go to do juju. Even tell you the type of things they used to do juju. But he claim he does not do juju. Now I want you to understand. Even the one he is mentioning his name, I don't know him and I don't care to know him. Because I don't know how, you know, I don't know his existence and his activities. You know, so... I am not even talking on his behalf or to defend him because he is, you know, to me, that person, you know, I don't know his activities. I don't know where his stance is. Now I want you to know that anybody who will continue to tell you somebody is doing juju for him, somebody is calling his name here, is calling, they are diabolic people. Remember the native doctor will tell you or fake pastors will tell you that they have used your name to go to all oracle, even when nobody has time for you and your name. Nobody has time because I believe that the person you are talking about, you also say that he is into, you know, some certain business, which let me tell you, people in that type of business are into gangsterism. When they want to deal with you, they deal with you, you know, physically they shoot you, you die. It is not, they, I don't think they have that time to go and start conspiring in Juju place. Of course, so many of you who are consciously awoken will understand where I'm saying. Because he said that this person is selling drugs in Venezuela. Now, I want people to understand. If he say this man went to do Juju, he did with the dog, he did, how do you know? This is the same way he went to tell you that China Samoru, Chike Dosiem sold Mazen Namdekan, went home to drive Jeep. That is part of the Photoshop. When he was showing you Photoshop, that is when he was actually building things that he will use to actually sideline the administrative structure that is being put in place by Mazen Namdekan. That is put in place, rather, by Mazen Namdekan to sideline them to climb in order to rubbish ESN. That was the thing. That is the same way he's telling you they used dog to do juju. The same way Elohim from, uh, um, from California, Nelly, Elohim from um, Enugu State, come to tell you that um, Elohim told him, told her that uh, DOS sold mass and Namdekan. Elohim told her that uh, Biafra is no more. Biafra is dead. Elohim told her. That is the same way. Now, where is Elohim told you? Elohim told you is now writing junks and sending to people's inboxes. To read junks, he's writing about our Lego team. Now, I want you to understand also that the same Elohim is still talking to this criminal here. Because it's the same modus of operandi. They use the same modus of operandi to function. And everything they do, these people are criminals. Let us continue and let us fast track it. I don't even remember them. If I have ever remembered your mm -hmm. name mm -hmm. and consult any native doctor since the time I have joined this Biafra struggle, everything you do will work against me. Oh. But if I have not done that, this would be the candy boost. If I have never ever mentioned your name or take your name, not just your name, or take anybody's name from the criminals in DOS down to the lower, if I have ever taken anybody's name to the native doctor, everything you do will work against me. If you have ever taken any name, that means you go to you know, native doctor, but you are not taking people's name, or maybe. You are only interested in taking powers from people. You are only interested in putting it in your mouth that you will deceive people with no spirit. That is the all you know. That is actually the the message you are sending here, because you have not said that you are not going to native doc. You say you have never taken names, which means you have done so many other things in your native doctor. That is exactly what he is saying. But I am. I don't go. I, I don't, want to I don't pay do attention. Abu, I was sitting on women. 
Oh. I am also a child of God. Oh. If I want to curse you, mm. it's here. I won't go. I don't go to native doctor. But this man from Abagana have been going to people that I want to kill him. I have done, I have gone to a native doctor. I have done juju to kill him. If, if there is something that is chasing after you, search yourself. Pay attention. Search yourself. If, if anything, anything is after, after you, you search yourself. yourself. I, I don't, don't have, have time. time. Who, Who are, are you that I will be coming to come and go to the TV doctor to give your name for somebody to do this on your head? For what? Like I said, if I have ever done it, mm -hmm. everything you do will work against me. What is those things they do? That is who As Simon, what are those things they do? Do you have any evidence that these people have gone to native doctor on your behalf? Do you have any evidence? The answer is no. Your guilty conscience is the one actually telling you that these people must have done this. These people must have done that. No evidence. Because that's your guilty conscience. That's a, no evidence you use to actually slander the names of our administrative structure, you know, representatives. Is the same guilty conscience that you are using to accuse people that have taken your your inconsequential name to native doctor. The names that you change every day. Tomorrow you are Ifan. Uh, I don't know the last time you say you are did your name is Ifan in Jofoso, or did you say it is only Ifan? The next one is in Joko. The other one ESN. Another one Dragon ESN uh, uh, Simon. Is it the name that they are going to use to go to that native doctor? When he, <laughs> this is the conspiracy theory. It is the epitome of conspiracy theory that you are seeing right here. Let us continue. I don't have time. I want to make it very clear today. I don't have time. To, to go, go to native, native doctor, doctor for native doctor, doctor to do something, something for anybody. anybody. But you went to with Nelly. He does not have time to go to native doctor, but he went to with Nelly. And he told you that the native doctor said that Nelly will, will go mad. Is that a native doctor? Is that not a native doctor? The one who told you Nelly will go mad? Or was it not you that they told that Nelly will go mad in seven days? You know, dear friends, the most important thing that you people need to be considering is each and every time somebody talk, including myself, write it down so that you don't forget. If they make any sentiment or comment that you know that you will use to actually do fact check on them, write it down. He started swearing. I want him also to swear about the allegations that I have leveled against him. Let him come out and swear about, of course, nobody is doing anything against him. But if you want to swear, let him get a, a glass of water and swear about my allegation. How he planned to charge Andy Oba one billion naira to boycott Anambra state election in 2021. Did he swear about it? The answer is no. That is exactly, you know, he will just choose the things. When he is talking, he censors the thing, unsensitive ones. The ones that are not sensitive, he censors it. He just bring out the ones he believes that he can use to manipulate his gullible idiots. And he use it in the name that he is doing swearing. Swearing on people who are not even having time for you. Let us continue. And those who may be doing that on my behalf or not that, of course. But I'm telling you, I don't have time for that. But this man has been going round the Afro land, contacting everybody, contacting native doctors to do juju for him. That I want to kill him. I don't even remember this. I don't even remember this man. I don't even. How can I just sleep and wake up one day? And I said, oh, this man, because what he does, you know, I don't even listen to him. I don't even listen to him. 
Today somebody sent me the audio. A liar. A liar. And again, you don't listen to somebody, but just because today somebody send you a video, you finalize what that person is saying. <laughs> you don't listen to somebody, right? Then just one day somebody send you audio, not even a video, because audio is in subgroup media subgroups. You know, you have never listened to them. All of a sudden, somebody sent you audio. You become mad. You become mad that you come to the social media and start swearing that you say you don't swear. That you don't swear you are a Christian or you are a Catholic. In the Virgin Maria. You don't swear. But all of a sudden, now you are swearing, Simon Eber. Let's continue. Good enough. The unknown native today, this would be the one that brings it to Carrefour and all of them are sending you to attack Simon Eber. Mm -hmm. The same bridge to Carrefour. If I have ever... The same bridge to Carrefour, Simon Eber and Sisi Welia Solia. Simon Epa told so many people, use Bridget to care for and respect me. True or false? Did Simon Epa not tell Nelly, use Bridget to care for to respect me? After saying Nelly is him and he is Nelly. He said, Nelly, use Bridget to care for to respect me. Today, Bridget to care for is a criminal. If you break a relationship to build a relationship, it will not last. That is exactly as a result of what you are seeing happening today. Let us continue. Never spoken with anybody from Timibu mm -hmm. Not to talk of collecting money. Okay. Everything you do on my head will work. Mm -hmm. Now this brings me. This brings me to that article I told you. Remember the article I told you a few in our last week or two few weeks ago, which says that Simon Epa collected 29, 25 million dollars from Tinubu, which I came and I told you that it is all a lie. It is all a lie. That the move, they are planning to make the move to see what he can offer them. Are you paying attention to see what he can offer them? He declared sit at home. It didn't work. So that is the reason why he has the boldness to come and tell you if he has ever collected money from Tinubu camp. <laughs> if he has ever collected money from Tinubu camp. I told you that that article is an offering for him. He wanted to use it as an offering. But that is exactly he telling you if I has ever collected money or discussed with anybody from Tinubu camp. Let anything he is looking for or whatever. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Because I don't know how to quote criminals. Robert. Ever spoken with anybody mm -hmm. from Tinubu camp, mm -hmm. not to even talk of collecting money. Okay. Everything you have done, including all the money you have paid to native doctors, to do something like this, and like that, okay. they will all come back to you between now and December. How? Oh, wow. Everything you have done mm -hmm. will go back to you, are you between now and December. Are you swearing on behalf of you to protect yourself, or you are, you know, make you are actually laying cause using lies on that person instead of saying everything you, you yourself. Instead of using yourself, it's supposed to be vice versa. You know, but well, pay attention, pay attention. Maybe you... The same thing is applicable to everybody. Mm -hmm. If I have ever spoken to Atiku wow. or spoken to anybody mm -hmm. that is close to Atiku, not to talk of collecting money from No, you Atiku. haven't spoken to anybody. Everything you do against someone. That one is that you haven't spoken to anybody close to Atiku. Your target is Tinubu. I've been I've been vocal about it. His target is Tinubu, not Atiku. So the reason why he is taking this oath now 
is because he knows that nobody is doing anything against him. Believe you me, this is a way of trying to build, you know, refresh the manipulated brains. The colonized brain by Simon. You want to refresh it. That manipulation. That is exact because he knows nobody is doing anything against him. That is the reason why he will come out to tell you, if I ever do this, if I ever do that, even though he is still censoring what he is saying, because he knows that, that what he is saying is he can also backfire because I will more if he's on you. So that is the reason why he still censors it, knowing that nobody is up against him, you know, spiritually or whatever. That is the reason why this thing is psychological manipulation to you people who have a very, very dull brain. Onepa will walk against me. But if I have never ever spoken... How will you know about what I am saying? He is always, you know, censoring what he's saying. If he has ever done this, if I have ever done that, let anything you are doing against Simon Epa work for you. If you have ever do this, let it work for me. Why can he? Why can't he put it on himself? Get a glass of water. If I have ever done this, let anything I am looking for, you know, not come to me, or let my generation perish. If I have ever done this, don't say anything they are doing against you because. It, no one knows whether they are doing anything against you. You are just here to lie to people, to manipulate people because you are Nigeria, you know, born politician. When the one you have done is cold, you do another one. Nigerian born politician. When they come from governorship, they go to senator. When they come from senator, they come for president. You know they killed you when they were governor. When they come to presidency, they tell you another language, another manipulation, and you believe them. You vote for them. They will destroy you, the, the rest of you that is remaining. That's what is happening here. Is that an oath? Where is the evidence that these people are doing anything against you? Because you know that they are not. That's why you are here to, you know, talk rubbish. I want you to pay attention because you will hear the confession finally. With any... There is power in thumb. Body. Close to our people. Not to talk about collecting money. No, you don't know anybody close Everything to our people. We are talking do. about Tinubu. We'll go back to you between now and December. We are talking about Tinubu. You don't know anybody about that. It's Tinubu. If I have ever collected money, maybe you want to attract from the Nigeria person. government, mm -hmm. or spoken with anybody mm -hmm. that is in the Nigeria government mm -hmm. to fight against Biafra, mm -hmm. to destroy Igbo land, mm -hmm. to destroy Biafra land. Okay. Anything you do against me, okay. let it work. Anything you do against me, what is that thing they are doing against you? I don't to be fooled because so many fools that are here. Make sure you, I know you are a fool, but don't be fooled by what he is saying. Let anything you do against me, let it work. Is there any evidence that somebody is doing anything against you? Hey, hey this is what he is doing. You know, this is what he is doing to actually use it to fool the fools. Exactly. If nobody is doing anything against you, what is it that is going to work <laughs> or not work? Who, what is it that is going to hear your, your, your bogus, uh, you know, oath? Pay attention. Yes. But if I have never, since the time I joined the struggle, spoken with anybody, government official in Nigeria, not to talk of collecting money, Every juju you have done for the past one year will go back to you and they will hunt you down between now and December. If my intention mm -hmm. 
is not to get the alpha. Everything you do will work against me. Will work against me. And let it work exactly the way the native doctor has done it. Wow. But if my intention mm -hmm. is to get the alpha, and what I'm doing, I'm doing it hoping and believing that we are going to get the alpha next year. Okay. Everything you have done against me. Why don't you censor this oath in the nature, in the law of karma? Why are you censoring it everything they have done? Because you know they are not doing anything. You are a criminal. Censor it to the law of nature. Censor it to the law of karma. Censor it to the water. Water does not have an enemy. Fella said, water, you know, get an enemy. Censor it to water that you drink. Why are you censoring all this, your rubbish? In everything you've done, you, you have done against me. <laughs> Is people, people on my brain. People on my, do you people, are you, oh, oh, these OG blacks. Hi. Now I understand the reason why Mazen Namdekan, when he speaks, speaks, speaks. Hey. His size. Blacks in this OG. To manipulate them is like Ojimbo. Boom. To manipulate in this OG is like Ojimbo. Because they are vulnerable. You guys are too vulnerable. It makes me sick to my stomach. It makes me sick to my brain. Native doctor will go back to you from now to December. Mm -hmm. Why I'm doing this pro proclamation mm -hmm. and pronouncement is that from today, I am able in a different level. Wow. If what I am doing is that somebody paid me money. Mm -hmm. Whether from abroad, mm -hmm. whether from uh, uh, Britain, whether from Europe, whether mm -hmm. from Nigeria, if anybody has ever paid me money to fight against me to be, if fighting against me to be is not a genuine fight that P to be has come to destroy, yeah, they are from strong. I will if not I take calls now. I will not be able to take calls now. The only thing I can do is if you want to join this program when i am done you can ask i will share the link on youtube and the, this thing then you join i can leave you can join and air your view while i will go and attend to my meetings please i will not take calls now so if he has ever collected money from anybody from anywhere from any time let everything you have done work against me <laughs> you know i don't know i hope people are actually understanding what we are doing here are you paying attention to what we are doing here now let us continue anybody anywhere in the world to fight against it will be Everything you do against me mm -hmm. must work against me. Okay. Every juju you have done for the past one year since the adoption of Mazin and Bikan will work against me. How do but you if I have never collected shishi from anybody? Everything you have done will work against you. What is that thing they have done? What is your proof to show they have done? If I have taken <laughs> anybody's name. To any native doctor, and say, Here is person for me. I want you to understand what this guy is doing here. It is a reverse psychology. He is confessing everything that he has done in a reverse psychology embedded in fake, you know, information by saying, If there is anything we have done, against this let everything you have done against me work when he knows 
correctly. No one has done anything against him yet. That is exactly the reason because he saw this as a future, you know, future challenges he is going to face so that he will play this video because he does not want to repeat it and, um, you know, actually channel this energy with nature, with nature and karma. Because if you want to take an oath, you channel it to nature and karma. Not you channeling it to whatever somebody... What if somebody have not done anything against you? Have you seen the exact same reason why we told you that he manipulates you? It's all about manipulation. It's all about lies. It's all about deceit. Now, there is one video path that I want to actually censor before we actually call it a day. Now let us go to that before if we if need be we might come back to the full video. But now because of time let's censor this one because of time. Pay attention. Let us censor this one. When this whole thing was happening, mm -hmm. I, was I was telling Omar that, that Madam Bridget, we must unite with Madam Bridget. Madame Bridget. Madame Bridget. That, that woman disappointed, disappointed me. me. Mm -hmm. That woman put her mouth and said, Madam Azoka must be under her. <laughs> we have to, she have to unite. unite. So it was about about who controls. Okay, what actually? Gossiper. Gossiper. That is the reason why the nude of Nelly, you. You and her shared in the in the in the secret. You brought it out in the open. Welcome, what actually? Whatever you and women discuss, you will be welcome, what actually? You come out and uh, you start saying it. The same women that we call women and the gossipers, they are not the ones coming to discuss or you know actually expose what they share with you in the secret. It is always you because you know you are a criminal. Because according to Nigeria law, all one of you support police in a baby. <laughs> I don't know if you understand what I say. Nigeria law, when you are the one who kills somebody, you run and call police, you are exonerated. If you come and commit crime now, call run and call police. There is a crime here. They committed it against me. You will win that case. So now, let us continue to listen to him in, his, in this regard. She forwarded a message to me, say, keep, put the account, put the account in the website, put this account in the website. You see, one thing is that I bring my color step by step. I don't come openly to everybody. Nobody know me. If you think you have seen me, my brother, I will disappoint you. <laughs> Those of you who think you know me, I will disappoint you when you least expect it. Madam Bridget, before Madam Bridget come to support me, she asked me a question. Are you for Mazen Namdekano or not? I gave her my word. I am for Mazen Namdekano. I have come to this struggle to support Mazen Namdekano. She said, why she is saying this thing is a lot of people are saying uh, they cannot trust me. A lot of people are afraid of me. I told Madam Bridget. <laughs> I do not tell you to believe me. But I'm telling you today, everything I'm doing, I have come to support Mazina Amikana to give me mm -hmm. And I said, since they have adopted Mazina Amikana, we are going to make the abduction and the kidnapping of Mazina Amikana very expensive for Nigeria. And you made it very expensive for Nigeria by turning Eastern Security Network, turning boys against themselves, by actually deceiving people who are protecting the land of Biafra to actually fight in double front. You start creating, you know, faction amongst them. You create criminals that will be dressing like them, committing crimes. That is how expensive you have made the abduction of Mazen Namdekan because you are a criminal, a very serious criminal. We have seen how you made it expensive. We have, and we can imagine 
how expensive you have made it. That is the reason why you were saying planted a stupid cowardice seed. If Mazen Nam the can, if you look for him, you burn the zoo and you started burning Biafra land, you and your criminals on the ground, that you are collecting Biafra's money to actually, you know, actually groom. You use them to destroy Biafra land. The price of keeping Mazen Nam the can will be very, very expensive. We have seen the it. price of raising him. Mm -hmm. That has been the ideology and the code. The price of keeping Mazen Nam the Kano in DSS dungeon must be very expensive, costly, mm -hmm. than the price of releasing him. That is what I have followed. Very expensive. Today, it is very expensive for them. Yeah, that it, not expensive? it is going to even get more expensive. In fact, the next two weeks, if Mazen Nam the Kano continue to be in the DSS mm -hmm. dungeon, we could be the most expensive two weeks okay. from this one year. Okay. Only in Biafra land, by killing Biafra so. That's how it will be expensive for them. We are fighting for freedom. I know my right. <laughs> I know what I'm fighting for. And I know the mechanism I'm using. Wow. So, Madam Bridget and her group, it does not matter what you people have done, how you have communicated with Tony and do and all that. It doesn't matter. But what matter now is that if what you people have accused me, including the one you do on forum, if all this accusation against me is true, everything this man, the native doctors and the oracle, this man have consulted, everything will work against me. Where is the proof? Where this man has gone to, including the last one he paid $2 million. all those things I have the information. Everything you are going to be part, partaker of this problem that is our people. Your family is that how valuable you are? That this, this is now the time my cat to know who is whiter than white. To receive you all the time. It is not just whiter than white and whiter than snow by mouth. No, it is not just a social media whiter than whiter and whiter than snow. This is the time to prove who is whiter than white. So if I have done anything, what you people have accused me, everything you have done mm -hmm. will come against me. Let it work against me. But if not. Before now, from now to December, I ain't gonna know the news in your families. Mm -hmm. What's the smack on his face? What's it? Because you know, when what's the smack him, when he, he, he feels that it is not to work there? He, he the lies is the flowing and the for who to the 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 smack? For, well, he cannot go back. He cannot go back. Now, I'm commanding it now to your families. He will go back to all of you. And you are going to receive it from Madame Bridget to this man, unless you come out and um, apologize. Wow. And uh, of course, not to me. Who am I? Do I apologize? Oh, no, God. Apologizing to me doesn't. You know, people misunderstand me when I say apologize. When I say apologize, it's not apologizing to me. <laughs> I apologize to he you. He said so. people misunderstand him. Do you know why? The reason why he claimed that the, you know people misunderstand him. Remember, he said that. Nelly should go and confess. Seven days is gone. Nothing happened. He called uh, this guy, Sample Master, that he gave him seven days to apologize. Seven days passed. Nothing happened. Now he, is, he realized immediately, quickly, that he has done these things in the past. This lie, he sold it in the past. He never, he never sell. That's why he actually made a U-turn. You people don't understand me. You are not supposed. You are not apologizing to me. You are apologizing to hear some. <laughs> Hi, Simon. Epa. Simon. 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 Let us hear exactly what Simon. Simon. If there is any area in this struggle that we need manipulators to be in the department, if there is any area in this struggle that we need criminals to be, if there is any department that a manipulator, psychological criminal 
will be you make Simon the chief of that department. He will handle it correctly. Or any area that you know you need a propaganda machine, a person who sells conspiracy theory, propagandist, make Simon Epa the general of that department, if there is, because he will handle it correctly, having seen his activities. <laughs> And I will not go back to that story again. But now we are going to know who. I want you to pay attention now for you to hear him confessing. This is the confession time. Pay attention. Now listen to it properly. Who are those that, are, that their hands are clean? I want their friends to listen to people who, you know, and you know, the worst part is that when he made this video, when he made this audio, he forwarded it to people in Biafra land, and now she, and they will be sharing it in their platform. They will be sharing it in their group, and now let's see. Someone that can't to go, someone that can't to go this way. Someone, hey. And like I said, like I said, let us not even go to money he asked the question if i have ever discussed how to sabotage biafra with anybody mm -hmm. everything they have done to me let us not even go to money i want you to pick up there let us not go to money denounce you know denounce denouncing of money path to show you that he has you know he has something to do with money. That's why he is denouncing the money part. Let us not go to money. Let us not go to money. Pay attention to the rest of it. Let me put it where you will actually recognize it better. To sabotage Biafra with anybody. Everything they have done to me, including the, the one they are going to do tomorrow, let it work against me. Good, good, good. But if I have never discussed with anybody sabotaging Biafra, everything will work against from Bridget to Kafo to this man. All of them. And if I have ever, ever think bad or evil against Bridget to Kafo and, 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 and the group, if I have ever even after she did what she did, if I ever thought bad against Bridget Jekar, everything she, everything that has sponsored and aided this man to do, will work against me. But if even after all these things she did and how the meeting ended the last day, I have never thought bad about her. Everything they have thought will go back to them. For you people to know who Simon is, mm -hmm. I don't have time to think evil about people. No, I don't have time. But you have time to I think, think people of to how to defeat you to be relevant with everything that is available at my disposal. But I don't think evil. I'm not evil. Those of you who are killing our people, I've always sold everybody, everybody to. Calm down. down. We will we'll not, not get, get to that part yet. yet. Because what the Nigeria state wanted. Want that means it is not complete there. Now let me finalize this. To do juju. I didn't do that. Go and check yourself. All the places where you have put your hand trying to fight Simon Ekba, they are haunting you back. 
mm -hmm. Hold on. of alliances we are going into with countries will be felt very soon. This is not a joke. If you were not serious Watch this. fighting for Biafra freedom, I am serious. I am very, very serious. Okay. 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 The only thing I'm going to tell you is which country. Where is the Jehovah? It will continue, 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 continue to remain anonymous until Biafra is declared. Mm -hmm. but, I'm but I'm telling you, you and I'm assuring you today, today that, that very, very soon, soon you, you are, are going, going to feel the effect, effect of some of, some of the country that are now part of Biafra. So when I say that Biafra is coming next year, and when I say another date, Biafra will come. Don't. Fight. fight it. Do you, do you think, think it is easy? easy? Do you do think, think it is easy for somebody, somebody to wake up and tell, tell you 140 days, days to be a We are not, not going, going to have seen it. We are not going to have seen it. We are not going to have seen it. Yeah. Get your peace. Simon and Bata. Simon and Bata. Let's hear. This is the video of the one he claimed that is using Juju on him. Let us hear from this man and see where he is doing Juju. If there is any evidence to show that he is doing Juju or not, that Simon censored all his criminality, brought it in one basket to now act like he is exonerating himself so that you will not ask him to swear about it again. Because he's always proactive. He wants to use this medium to actually manipulate you into believing that he has come publicly to swear. <laughs> let everything that they have planned against me, let it work against me. Even though they are no longer, they are not planning anything. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Simon, Simon. It is too much in your criminality. Chai. That's why I say if there is any department that deals with criminals, you supposed that is supposed to be, you know, anybody with lies, manipulation, and deceit, you will be the chairman. I want to know where soon. You think that you look at a 1% profile Simon Eba from 100 or 499? Hello? I want to know Simon Eba. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Are you to hear him? Is that Simon Eba? will bring Biafra. Let Biafra never come. Now, how will this man stop the Biafra? You know, how will he and his, his group, the group of Bridget Okafor, Bridget Okafor, you know, with his group, yes, they hired Bruce Fenn. Yes, they are doing something. But how can Bridget Okafor Okay, we have a caller on the line. There is something he quickly want to contribute and because of my time frame i want to bring him in because i don't think i have enough time to be here we are actually so the caller on the line your name and where you call it from please you have two minutes yeah, um, 
Good afternoon. Please be audible, be audible. We cannot hear you. Uh, are you hearing me now? Yes, better. We are hearing you now. Okay, okay. Truly, the first lovers of freedom. My name is Mars Akas. Uh, Austria and by the special case of Kukak, I am the IPOB of Spanish Um, Mars, we are watching your program and uh, I just, I just want to chip something here. Uh, when I say this guy is playing Jesus, when his hand is full of leprosy, people don't understand what I mean. Yeah, 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 it does remind me. How can you swearing an oath and you don't bring natural things, organic things that will make people to know that you are swearing? You are swearing and saying if they do anything. Have you ever seen where somebody swear an oath like this? <laughs> we are, people, you know, the colorful minds who don't really understand the game this guy is playing on their brain. Mm. We think, eh, but someone had swear that day. Mm. How do you know that this guy, they, are, that they do anything against him? Even me that I'm speaking, and right now, every human being has an enemy. Even me as I'm speaking right now, there are girls who don't like me. There are girls who like me. So I cannot just come and say anything people are doing. What is because you are, what I'm going to say is that I will hold the water on my hand and I say if I have done this, let something, something, something like this do to me, and I will drink the water. Yes. Oh, I'll, this is how you make a lot. Take something that will just because he definitely confessed everything he uttered here are what, crimes that he is guilty of. Exactly. Because it is connected to nature. for calling so that is how it is that is how it is
People are so gullible that they cannot read and handwriting. You cannot swear an oath without having a nature, without being, you know, channeling it to a nature that you have in your hands. He is there telling you anything they do against me because you know no one is doing anything. He knows he's the only one who go to native doctor. He's the only one who use the money you give him to go to native doctor in order to convince you to give him more. There are places where he also said that if he has built an estate with this struggle money, let everything he's talking about because they, he claimed that they say he's building an estate. I don't know who are those who are talking those rubbish. You know, I don't like people who are using propaganda to destroy the truth that we have. You know, like I've told you, why did you not swear when I said that you use your money to buy a car, a Mercedes Benz in Finland? Why did you not talk about it? this <laughs> He did not. I want him in this oath swearing. I want him to challenge everything that I have said that he did. Challenge it. And get a glass of water and challenge it. Come back, all of down. Everything that I've said, including taking one, charging, or, you know, including proposing 1 billion naira from Andu but to boycott an Anambra State election 2021, including using IPOB money to buy yourself a smart Mercedes in Finland, hop out and debunk it. Come out and debunk it. Including turning ESN against each other, come out and debunk it. That is exactly, you will pinpoint, censor, embed it in meaningless, you know, accusation because you are a propaganda machine, a criminal, a professional one. And that is the reason why that is exactly what you've been doing. But it is an end of the road for you because our leader will be joining us soon. That is the reason why you run out to do this, your drama, your stupid drama. So that emotional fool, sympathetic, sympathetic people, you know, will come and they will start believing in your stupid story. We are going to meet again until we meet again. I want their friends to stay safe. I wish I had more time to this program because there is a lot to it, but we will do it again probably tomorrow or next we will do it again we will bring the rest of the video before we continue the other ones that we will bring to you the next time we are coming but until then i want you to stay focused stay formidable stay safe stay informed as nigeria judiciary become a bulldog with no biting teeth we will remain focused they are not going to discourage us but by the time we will rise up as they have risen against umuchuku the world will not complain they are very good at paying attention when the oppressed rise up but they are not good at paying attention when the oppressor stir up their oppressing sword to kill the oppressed. So they should continue to count these things the Nigeria government is doing against humanity, ripping off every human right that we have, we are, it will not go unpunished. Because Chukwo Kikabiyama is a god of vengeance. It will not go unpunished. Our God is God of vengeance, and we actually revenge 
every battle, every war waged against Umuchineke. One way or the other, it is going to happen that you may know that Chukwu Kikabiyama is God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel, which our ancestor Abraham, Jesus Christ, and so on and so forth, Joshua, they bow down, they pray to, and they believed in, and he saw them through. That same God is going to see us through and take us to the land that he has promised us, which is the land of freedom, the land of Biafra. And there is no force on, on the planet Earth that is going to stop us from achieving this freedom that we are fighting for. Because we are the peculiar people, we are not backing down. We are not going anywhere. Tukwo Kikabiyama, who lives in heaven, he will hear the cry of the children of Israelite once more. As he did, even though when Moses went to the mountain, Aaron made a graven image that prolonged the you know, journey of a days to make it journey of 100 days. But today, we are denouncing that rebellious nature in our people, which is brought into this struggle by Canon Takano and Co. And, uh, you know, using every mind Finland as the graven image to redirect the narrative, to deceive our people, to prolong this journey that we're supposed to travel for days and prolong it for hundreds of days. We are calling on to go to strengthen our people and cut this journey short for us because we have seen against you. You know, we have, you know, we have done all sort of things that is against to go courtesy of some people who are supposed to be leading us into, you know, freedom. They actually, some people who are supposed to be actually influencing this thing People in the likes of Kanun Takano, they chose to make graven image for some people. And this graven image is making our people to die, is making our people to suffer, it's making our people's suffering to be prolonged. We call on Chukwo Kikabiyama, who lives in heaven, to come and intervene in our suffering, the suffering that Nigeria will have subjugated us into. They have subjugated us into suffering. They have subjugated us into abstract poverty. They have killed us. We have killed them. We will continue to move. And there is no way we will not find our freedom because the blood of their friends, you know, they, it has been shed in several ways. People are suffering in prison, in dungeon, in solitary confinement. For the sake of the things they knew nothing about, but we call on Tukwo Kikabiyama to intervene on, the, on their behalf. Give us Biafra that your name will be exalted and the new Jerusalem will be erected for you. The place where we will bring our offering because you promise us in the book of Zephaniah for beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, your suppliant will bring you offering. We are going to bring you offering and Biafra comes and we are going to make our land holy again. We are going to, you know, we are going to reject every oracle, every god, every ass, and every Aaron say that is being brought into our land that is not emanating from our origin. We are going to destroy all of them. We are going to make sure that we worship you. We worship Elohim, Chukwoki Kabiyama, one and only who lives in heaven, who made human being and no one made him, he will see us through in no distance time. Of course, our leader will come out with a big news in a few days to come. And we believe and we know that Biafra restoration is a task that must be done and it is imminent. Great Biafrans all over the world, we have brought this program to an end. Until we meet again, stay safe, stay informed. Bye for now.